All right guys, so for the Hyundai and Kia DCT clutch packs, we've had some debate on the functionality and the holding capacity of these clutches. So right up front, I'm gonna show you a couple clutches here real quick. The first one on the bottom is a VT clutch, 2019-2020. Uh, the top clutch up above is out of a Kia Soul. So I want someone, people to pay attention really quick. Okay, so you see the fingers around here? See the fingers on this one? A lot more of them. Let's count the buttons. We got eight buttons on the VT clutch. We've got nine buttons on the Kia Soul clutch, okay? Here's the deal, my guys. You can't, these diaphragms are both rated for a particular holding capacity. Now there's a clutch diaphragm here and there's a clutch diaphragm inside. There's obviously more fingers on that clutch diaphragm and there's less fingers on this. The Kia Soul it has more holding capacity, okay? The VT doesn't have the same holding capacity as the Kia Soul. So you can't just put more pressure on the face of these and get more holding power. Okay, so you see, you see these fingers? You see how it has this profile in it? Okay? You see how it has it next down? All the new unique little details about these fingers? Well, these fingers apply the pressure to the disc. So when you push on this, this puts pressure on the discs that's underneath it. Now there's, same thing with the inside one. Um, I'm not going to talk about, you know, the pressure ratings or what they're rated for or anything like that. The, the simple fact being is that you cannot just push on the diaphragms more and get more holding power. It simply doesn't work like that. If it worked like that, they wouldn't make different clutch diaphragms for different model year vehicles. Okay? I'm sorry, it's, a lot of people are saying that their TCT, their uh, DCT, TCU tunes will hold more, you know, more power, more torque, da 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 da. No! No, it won't. You might get another 2 to 8% with a TCU tune, but again, they're not going to put different diaphragms. This ring, fingered ring, inside and outside they're not going to put different diaphragms on clutches if they can just program the tcu for a different value now here's the other thing that we need to be concerned with here is let's see if i can pick this up without falling apart everywhere okay so i'm gonna come over here all right so you see this that's the master assembly for the dual throwout bearings so these are essentially two throwout bearings inner and outer okay so these throwout bearings this slides up to engage one and this slides up to engage the other sorry that just fell apart um can you just sit there we go so with this being limited to essentially that amount of distance Yes, it looks like it's not when it's actually in the car. You're not getting, you know, as much movement as you would think. You just can't go through and start pushing throwout bearings further into the disc. You will run into a, sp a limiting factor between the two clutch discs. Okay, so this distance you have, oh, stupid, stupid. There we go. So this limit distance you have here, you know, you probably got a finger's worth of clutch movement. Down here, you you can fit you know, a thumb in between that. You know, a thumb in between that. There's not a lot of room between these to go through and start pushing down more on these. And then there are some issues with the your inner. So you got your inner clutch. You can't push too far down on the inner clutch because you will start making contact with the inner clutch hub. So, I don't, guys, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to go about telling you that yes, your, your DCT TCU tunes are gonna add more holding power because they're not 
obviously there's differences between these if you literally want more holding power out of your dct clutch what you need to do is disassemble your model and then go by yourself i'm going to tell you right now the tucson 1.6 turbo dct clutch okay it has if i'm correct it has a total of 10 buttons around the outside it's got considerably heavier duty fingers than this on both the in and the outside. And then you send the clutch discs out and you have them re uh, relined with a different material. If you truly want a four or 500 foot pound torque DCT clutch, it's going to take a couple of different clutch sets in order to get that put together. Now you can take your old clutch set, you can send the discs out, have them resurfaced, buy the DCT clutch set at the Tucson, and then disassemble that and put it back together. So this is kind of what we did here. We got a couple of nuts here where we un drilled and unriveted the this particular clutch set. So there are rivets that connect. Let me make sure I'm pointing out the right ones. There are rivets that hold this assembly together where you're going to have to go through and drill out the rivets both top and bottom. You got a rivet here, a rivet here, a rivet here, here. So these rivets need to be drilled out so you can go through and interchange these. Now, you can't very well just go through and rip rivets out and expect for the best. You, there's gotta be there's gotta be some balancing, there's gotta be some you know thought process in tearing these things apart because they need to go back together properly and properly balanced. With that being said, you can build your own Hyundai Kia DCT clutch pack at you know at a much hold, higher holding capacity. Again, the whole point of this video is to point out that there are significant differences between the different makes and models because the clutches themselves are holding a higher capacity, holding a higher torque level directly from the factory. Going through and just slamming a you know dct tcu tune on your car not going to give you more holding capacity and that's uh that's a it's a fallacy that's been explained and expressed to the community it's not true um you might like i said you might get upwards of about like eight percent on the absolute outside i would say ten percent more holding capacity because the, the further you push these fingers down Potentially, there's a little bit of leeway there for the manufacturer and how much additional torque they will hold by pushing them down, but you are not going to be able to get like a 40% increase. Now, going from this clutch diaphragm, both inner and outer, to this clutch diaphragm, both inner and outer, and this is roughly about a 25 to 30% increase over your 1.6 Forte, your 1.6 Velocitor, um, trying to think of the other one six applications that are in the car market this is more or less car market application you know four door two door type vehicles this is for your kona your seltos your soul help me here am i missing anything this is what comes in those applications these are the little mini suv type things where it takes the vehicle has a, a higher base weight and it takes a little bit more holding power to engage the clutch. Now the Kia, uh, I believe the Kona, the Soul, and the Seltos have a different gear set in them. So that also uh, is a reasoning behind why you need a higher pressure uh, inner and outer clutch diaphragms. The, the uh, Tucson that I mentioned earlier, the Tucson does have a considerably higher clutch load radium factor. Um, I'm sorry I don't have one here. We've taken all of our Tucson clutches and we've used them for other uh, customer builds and stuff like that. But if I had a Tucson laying around here, I would have been able to point out to you, it was like, hey, look at this. All three of them on the ground would have been fantastic. And it would have been able to show you what the holding capacity is of all three. So again, if you're looking to increase the holding power, I, I can try to go through and get something put together for you guys. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some testing done with the Tucson clutch inner and outer pressure plates in the Veloster Elantra Forte applications where we can test the Tucson inner and outer pressure plates 
in conjunction with some new friction material. Uh, friction material using uh, some full face uh, carbon, uh, carbon Kevlar. We've looked at some uh, carbon bronze, stuff of that nature where we're trying to get some better clutch materials on the interior of these clutches to have a higher grip, co sorry, higher grip cohesion and higher holding power paired up with the Tucson inner and outer pressure plates. Um, I have not finished the testing. I have not reached any point where I would love to like offer, you know, a, a product to the community. At this time, I can't offer a product because we haven't fully tested it. But the situation being here is that yes, directly from the manufacturers, they make inner and outer diaph clutch diaphragms that hold greater or less, you know, power based on the actual manufacturer. It's not the actual push on these that in increases your holding power. So I'm hoping that this helps everyone understand the operational parameters of the DCT clutches inside the different applications. Again, we showed you throwout bearing, uh, release heights and engagement points. Um, there, I mean, I will, I'll probably touch on this really quick. So I'm kind of show you what's it's kind of hard to see, but okay. So you see the gap between the button in here and you see the inner ring. Okay. So you see the gap here, there's no gap and the button. Okay. This is, that's a two prong approach. One, it's for changing clutch pressure plate load values, height values. And it's also for engaging uh, static load rates into the fingers. So the further back you come, the less static load you have in them, you can like, you can like physically, I can like physically push on this finger. If I come up here, this has put more static load on it. Like these, yikes. Like I, these are smaller and I have, ooh, I've got to push considerably harder than pushing on like this one. I can move very easily. Okay, that increase in static load is also an increase in clutch diaphragm pressure. Um, that gets into like a, you know, clutch specific manufacturer testing and stuff of that nature. I'm not even going to touch on that because that is honestly not my expertise at all. I am not a clutch guy. I can tell you that the differences between one clutch and the next clutch are where you get your additional holding power. It's not in the DCT tune. It's not in the, the TCU. It's physically in the mechanical part that's on the car. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask below inside the comment section, or if you need to see a more detailed uh, video with me tearing these all the way apart, we have plans on tearing all a uh, couple of these apart, getting into the actual intricacies of the components inside. But if you want to see that, just let me know. I appreciate you watching guys. Thanks.